This Vince McMahon documentary on Netflix is going crazy. You hear me? Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Now it's a six part documentary. I'm going to break down my reviews in parts of two. So I'm going to review part one and two now. Then I'm going to review part three and four. Then I'm going to review five and six. Part one and two. Part one specifically was about building up Vince McMahon. They talked about his upbringing. Talked about him and his, his dad when he was 12 years old. Him getting abused as a child. Living on the trailer with his mom. Him being an announcer and all of that. Him starting WrestleMania 1. Rocking wrestling. All of that. All that they was building him up episode 1. You feel me? Episode 2. They was tearing your mans down to the ground, bruh. To the ground. They talked about everything nasty that happened. Literally, it was like in a three-year span, too. Like 1990 to 1993. Scandal, 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 scandal. You hear me? They talked about the steroid scandal. I never knew that the doctor that was snitched on the steroid scandal, he used to work for WWE. I never knew that. I never knew that happened. You feel me? They talked about the Ring Boy scandal with Pat Patterson and the former ring announcer and Terry Gordy. They talked about that. Then they talked about him and Rita Marie, the referee. First time I ever heard that name before. Rita Marie, the referee. You feel me? I never heard that name before, bro. Never heard that name. They said that Miss McMahon allegedly raped her when she was a referee. But then it was no real evidence and no real lawsuit or nothing. So he is up suing her in 1994. Then in 2023, he ends up paying her back because New York lifts a bond, lifts the ban on, um, what's it called? The substantial ban. You feel me? Limit, statute of limitations. New York lifted that ban, so Vince McMahon pays Rita Marie multi-million dollars and almost 30 years later. Almost 30 years later, pays her almost a million dollars, bro. Crazy. I got to get back to watching this. You feel me? Hulk Hogan is all over this documentary, so you got to take whatever Hulk Hogan says with a grain of salt. Hulk Hogan is a natural born liar. He's talking about, I didn't know what Andre the Giant was going to do. I didn't know I was going to win the belt at WrestleMania 2. I didn't know that. Like, Hulk Hogan, shut up. Shut up, you feel me? They talk about WrestleMania 3. Everybody says it's 90,000. Dave Meltzer says it's 78,000. I'm sure that 78,000 looks like 93,000. I'm sure that happens, you feel me? That can definitely look like that. But this was crazy, bro. This was crazy. This way, he talked about the steroid trial. This was crazy. I'm not going to lie. This was crazy. It turned into dark side of the ring. <laughs> this documentary turned into dark side of the ring, bro. They talked about Jimmy Snooker. <clears throat> it got nasty. I'm not going to lie. Your man Hulk Hogan is right now saying that they forced him, the U.S. The US judges forced him to go on trial. And oh, he was going to be going to jail for 17 years. They forced him to testify or he was going to go to jail for 17 years. I don't believe Hulk Hogan already. I damn sure not about to believe Hulk Hogan was going to go to jail for 17 years. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. For doing some steroids. That's it. Shut up. Shut up, Hulk Hogan. But this is a great documentary. Stephanie McMahon's all over it. Shane McMahon's all over it. Vince McMahon's all over it. I can see why he tried to step on it. I see why Vince McMahon tried to step on it. And already in the second episode, he looks a lot nasty. He looks very, very nasty in the second episode. And this is all stuff that's being rehashed from the early 90s. So imagine when they get to the stuff that happened recently in the last two, three years. You feel me, bro? But I got to get back to watching this documentary. This is great. And WWE is going to be on Netflix in the next three months. They doing all of this on Vince McMahon, and then they want fans to watch WWE on Netflix starting in January. I might not watch wrestling ever again after this, bruh. This is making wrestling look super nasty. Super, super nasty on every aspect, bruh. Every aspect. I'm not going to lie. But this is my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.